centres around the disgruntlement, uh, increasing disgruntlement about the uh, Northwest Premier, Supra Mahumapilo. So let's uh, go across now to our touch screen. Uh, Samkele, you were previewing the fact that uh, this is not the first time he has found himself in hot water. Um, just give us the timeline on the story. Well, Jeremy, let's first look at when the Hawks raided the Northwest Province. You would find that he was raided by the Hawks some time back and he responded that was on the 8th of March the Hawks raided the Premier's office in the Northwest and then he responded by saying that he we are fully behind and cooperating with the Hawks and all the other law enforcement agencies then there was the time when the Minister of uh, Health Aaron Mutualedi descended upon the Mediosa contract where a staggering amount of 30 million rands was basically sent into the Gupta's account through this Mediosa contract Aaron Mutualedi the Minister of Health he had these words to say ATM card for the Guptas that was in the Northwest Province that caused a lot of stir. The Premier Supra Muhammad Bilo, uh, responded saying this is a populist approach by the Minister of Health Aaron Mutualedi which, pro which prompted the President of the country Cyril Ramaphosa to rein both of them in and mainly the Premier Supra Muhammad Bilo. Then you had the hit back by the Premier on Supra's powers within the province. You've got all of these allegations that have been going on about the Department of Public Works, Human Settlements, and the Department of Health. And then you've got, this is the elections scorecard of how the ANC performed within the Northwest province within the general elections. They've got 67% of the votes. The EFF got 13%, with the DA coming at 12.17% in those general elections. But now you've got the Democratic Alliance writing a, a letter to the, for the vote of no confidence in which they expressed their support and calling on the president of the ANC and of the country, Sir Ramaphosa, to recall Premier Supra Muhammad Pilo as the premier of the province. This is their later, this was going on to the vote of, a vote of no confidence that was supposed to take place on Tuesday, but has been postponed due to the secret ballots that has been called by the EFF who wait for the ruling from the Mahikeng High Court on this matter. Then you've got the issue of votes here. This was the vo vote of no confidence. Tuesday there was a postponement of the secret ballots. Premier, Premier Supra Mahamapilo fought back where he cautioned that there are those supporters who are backing President Cyril Ramaphosa within the ANC that wants to purge all of those who backed uh, Dr. Sankosa and Aldamini Zuma. Mahamapilo addressed the, the, the crowd of supporters in a pro uh, Supra Mahamapilo rally outside of the legislature. Then you had the ANC chief deployee from the NEC, Opat Papela, descending down into the province to address the ANC caucus, which is seemingly divided with some like the SACP provincial secretary, Matota Sambat, who are eagerly and, and who want uh, Supra Muhammad Pilo to vacate uh, the vacate office as premier of the province. Then you've got the protests that have erupted since yesterday up until today, which are the anti-premier Supra Muhammad Pilo protest in Mahikeng. You've got uh, Botswana who's now cautioning their citizens not to travel to Mahikeng due to these protests that have erupted. Then yesterday in uh, Hartsesport Dam, the ANC NWC, the National Working Committee, descended onto the province to speak to uh, the legislature caucus and with ANC structures, the PEC, the regions, on what's truly happening in the province. You'd remember that three... Uh, Northwest has four regions. Three regions were disbanded for the, for the past three years, and they've not had proper uh, regional conferences with Bujanala having their conference nullified, and they were not even voting delegates at the ANC conference. So even buses were torched there uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday morning with, uh, with residents calling for the resignation of the Premier Supra Muhammad Pilo. So that's where we're at right now. Our colleague Michael Apple is going back to the province to cover the protest and speak to the Provincial Youth League, which is seemingly taking a negative stop against the Premier and, and backing their, their President Colin Maino, who's also coming out with, uh, rather, with rather huge revelations against Premier Supra Muhammad Pilo that he introduced him to the Gupta family.